Blaine Irby's been one of the more emotional stories uh, from a positive standpoint I've ever been around. We recruited him as an academic All-American out of Ventura, California. He comes in, he starts, he's in the same line of some of the great tight ends we've had. Uh, interestingly enough, about two years ago at this time, he catches a bootleg play, his knee is um, destroyed basically. It, it, uh, um, it's dislocated, he has nerve damage. Uh, they're talking to us about maybe two percent or less that he will ever uh, run again much less play football and then last uh, summer he started working out some and last fall he came to me and said uh, I think I'm ready and his dad thought he was ready and the doctor said it was okay and I really asked him to wait because I've been through it with five knee operations and I felt like that uh, uh, having a knee replacement at 54 years old that uh, number one I wasn't excited about seeing him back out there because I'm responsible uh, number two, I didn't want him walking like I do uh, at, at 60 years old. And, and number three, I, I didn't think he would be emotionally ready even if he was physically ready. So I said, why don't you run as hard as you can and push it as hard as you can and do everything you need to do in the fall to make sure you think it's strong enough and then come and see me in the spring. We'll go through spring practice and we'll let you be involved with thud, but I'm not going to let anybody tackle you until you get through spring. Let's go to spring break, then let's talk about it. Let's go through spring practice, and then let's talk about it, and then let's go through summer. Let's talk about it again. And our deal was that when you come back in the fall, you're like everybody else if you're going to play. So he's scrimmaged, he's tackled, he's been hit, he's blocked, and I really think he's well and very excited about next week. I just missed that feeling. I missed the game of football. Um, and it's one of those deals where I wouldn't have came back if I wasn't 100% ready. And I know, and I do respect Coach Brown. I really thank him for looking out for my well-being. And But if I wasn't 100% ready, then I wouldn't come back. Coach Brown's one of those coaches that looks out for your well-being, and he doesn't look out just for you as a football player. And I think that's something that I'm very fortunate and that a lot of the players are fortunate to have here is that we have coaches that actually look out for your life after football. And I think that's, I think that's awesome. I couldn't ask for anything more. It's definitely a miracle, and I, I definitely think that uh, God did have something to do with this, and I know he did, and um, there's just something about it. I mean, it's hard to explain. You know, it just it happens. I know that he put me through this whole process for a reason, and I wouldn't change that for the world.